This episode of Lifehacker is brought to you by Squarespace. Welcome to Lifehacker. In this week's episode, we're running down some simple ways you can improve your daily routine. We're gonna learn a faster and better way to tie your shoes, learn to fold your shirts in two seconds flat, reheat fried foods better in your oven with the broiler, and much more. So let's get started. Foggy mirrors are something we've all had to deal with. Maybe your fan doesn't work or you've tried a towel and that just doesn't really get the job done. One of the best ways to fix the problem, however, is something that you may already have in your bathroom, and that is a hair dryer. Here's how it works. This is very easy to do. You just use your hair dryer like you normally would. It does not matter if you're on cold or hot. You just turn it on, point it at the mirror, and the fog's gone in a few seconds. As we get dressed in the morning, most of us run on autopilot, not really thinking about what we're doing, but what we might not realize is that the way we're taught to tie our shoes might not actually be the most efficient way. Whitson's gonna show you how to tie a really fast knot, and then I'm gonna show you how to tie a balanced one so your shoes don't come untied practically ever. So this particular knot is called the Ian knot, and it's based solely on speed. All you need to do is make a couple of loops, pull it through, it should only take you one or two seconds tops. Here's how to do it. So you start off with the same first step you would from the traditional method of tying your shoes. But instead of making one loop, you make two. The important thing to note here is that each loop is the opposite of its partner. So on this side, we have the end further away from the shoe in front, whereas on this end, we have the end closer to the shoe in front. Then you just bring the loops together, reach in through each loop and grab the ends, and pull it taut. It seems very complicated, but with a little bit of practice, you can get it done in almost two seconds flat. If speed is not so important and you just really want your shoes to stay tight all day, then you want to try out a reef knot. Here's how it works. The difference between a reef knot, what you want, and a granny knot, which you don't, is not that different. So you have to be very careful when you're learning this technique. Uh, first things first, you tie a single knot like that. That is how you start off either way. Now if you've been tying your shoes with two bows like this, that is going to get your granny knot, which as you can see, is a vertical knot. And you don't want that because then your shoes come untied really easily. What you do want to do is take one bow, and if you're holding it on the right side, you're going to loop under with the other lace, under and over. And if you're holding it on the right, you just go over and under instead. Since I'm left-handed, I'm going to do it this way. So you go over and under, and then pull the knot through the bottom, like that, and then your laces rest comfortably, horizontally, across your shoe, and will not come untied too easily. So there you have it. Hopefully one of these tricks will help you save a few extra seconds in the morning and get out the door faster. Amazon dominated the news this week with their new tablet, the 7-inch Kindle Fire. It costs $200, and unlike previous Kindles, it sports a color touchscreen, allowing you to play movies, read books, and browse the web. Also unlike the traditional Kindles, it runs a forked version of Android, which means that it also gets access to the wide world of Android apps, including games like Cut the Rope and Angry Birds. It doesn't have a camera, microphone, or 3G service, so it's not quite on par feature-wise with some of the other tablets out there, but at $200, it's hard to complain. The Fire wasn't the only thing Amazon announced. They also revealed the new Kindle Touch, an update to the existing Kindle that cuts out the keyboard and buttons and allows for users to navigate using only touch gestures. Those start at $99 for Wi-Fi and $149 for 3G. Finally, the regular Kindle has also seen a redesign that eliminates the keyboard but keeps the buttons. The ad-supported version is $79. Next up, Alan explained how Facebook tracks your moves across the web possibly even when you're logged out of the service. It's a somewhat complicated issue, but Alan walks through the various ins and outs, then explains exactly what you can do to make sure that Facebook isn't your new big brother online. Check out the post for more details. Finally, Whitson did a full browser speed test, comparing the latest Firefox 7, Chrome 14, IE9, and Opera. 
The results were surprisingly varied, with Opera winning in the cold boot up and tab loading categories, and Chrome taking home only the JavaScript prize. Check out the post for more data, but the final results were pretty interesting. Opera came in first, followed by Firefox, then IE, and surprisingly, pulling up the rear was Google Chrome. Folding laundry is easily one of the most boring chores ever because it just takes so darn long. Luckily, we actually stumbled across this really fast, really easy t-shirt folding method that can save you quite a bit of time. Here's how it works. To start, lay your shirt out flat and pinch the corner of the shirt kind of right in between the neck and the arm. Draw a line down and pinch a similar corner right below where the arm meets this seam. Pick up this hand and still holding the top of the shirt, grab hold of the bottom corner of the shirt Put your right hand through and fold it over. And that's it. It can be a little bit tricky at first, but once you've practiced it a few times, you should be able to get it down to just one or two seconds. You'll shave a ton of time off your laundry and leave more time for more fun activities. If you guys want to create a presence on the web, then you need to check out this week's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is a fully hosted platform with intuitive point and click design controls so you can make your website represent you exactly how you want. There's never anything to install or download, so you can get the freshest updates right away. No matter what kind of site you want to create, Squarespace has you covered. You can put up beautiful galleries and slideshows, and there are site templates to suit your every need. So go check it out for yourself right now. Go to squarespace.com slash lifehacker to get a two-week free trial. And when you decide to buy, be sure to enter the coupon code lifehacker10 at checkout for 10% off your order. You'll be supporting the show and setting yourself up with a sweet new website. So remember, squarespace.com slash lifehacker for a free trial, and then lifehacker10 at checkout for 10% off your order. Reheating your leftovers is better than eating them cold, but when it comes to fried foods like these french fries, the microwave often results in limp, soggy fries, and that is sad. Next time you are reheating fried foods, turn to your broiler for much crispier results. All you need to do is turn on your broiler, lay a piece of aluminum foil down on a cooking sheet, and put your fries down on the sheet. Toss them in the broiler and give it a little time, wait for them to get a little crisp and bubbly. Once they're done, just pull them out and you should have some crisp, nearly as good if not better than new fries. All right, it's time for the downloads of the day. Let's see what we've got. First up, if your daily routine involves opening a lot of the same programs and files on your Windows machine, you'll want to check out Start My Day. It's a simple app that makes launching whatever you want as easy as clicking a Run All button. Similarly, Morning Coffee for Firefox will do the same thing for your favorite websites, apps, and services. While you could technically do the same thing with a bookmarks folder or a series of pinned tabs, this extension takes all the thought out of the process. Quiet Hours is an app for Windows and Mac created by our very own Adam Pash. If you ever shut off your IM client, Twitter, or whatever distraction you've got so you can get things done, chances are you forget to turn them on again. Quiet Hours sets a timer and relaunches the apps of your choosing when it runs out. Finally, nothing keeps your daily routine in order like a good calendar. We've looked at tons of options on Windows, Mac OS X, iPhone, and Android then added our top picks plus some alternative choices to the Lifehacker app directory. Visit the link on your screen for some great options on almost every platform. And that is it for this week. Hopefully you found a few ways to improve your daily routine. For more daily tips, check us out at lifehacker.com, follow us on Twitter at Lifehacker, subscribe to us for more video on YouTube, or get the weekly show in iTunes. We'll see you next time. <laughs>